little. And and so you should know I get a lot of messages from people a- asking for my my opinions on what I think of this or that or talk about this or that. And I, I find it kind of funny because I, I'm just a talking dog. But, but, but the truth is I've actually learned a really a lot about opinions on the social parts with all you guys. And that you, you really, really, really like to share your opinions. Not, not so much to listen to the opinions of others, though, and, unless they're the same as yours. But, it, but one of the things that I, I, I see is that it seems that you lose sight of what an opinion actually is. And you get, you get it all mixed and confused with facts. And, and those are verifiable, okay? So I just thought maybe, maybe because because you asked for opinions, I would give you my opinion on opinions. So I, I asked the Meta, the Etta and, and Molly Logicals for some help. And I learned that opinion is from the Latin opinionem, which means conjecture or belief or what one thinks. And, and the root is opinary, which, which meaning, the meaning is to choose. So that's right. You get to choose what you think. That's your opinion. Each of you, it's yours for keeps. Or, or until you decide yourself to change it, okay? There's no mentions, there's no mentions of opinions being verifiable, okay? I, I also learned another word, ultra-crepidarianism, okay? I, I had to practice saying that, but it, it, it's a person who gives opinions and advice or criticizes and judges outside their area of expertise. I know, right? Who would do that? Okay, so I bet no one's going to ask for that on a Pluto Living t-shirt, okay? So what's really fun about opinions is is they can be the building blocks for conversations. And and you should know by now that conversations are the greatest shapers of change that you can have, okay? And also they're the best way to get someone to share some snacks. It's it's a proven fact that snack sharing is more likely during a conversation than it is during a shouting match. Okay. So an opinion is just something to consider or not there's no rule that says you have to eat someone's opinion. You can just you can just ignore it, okay? And and you're also you're also very much allowed to keep your own opinion to yourself. In fact, some days I think I should have maybe done that about the cats. Okay. So so here is an oversimplified example, okay, of of opinion sharing using two Two people who meet at a barbecue and are standing 10 feet apart, okay? I, I'm going to play both parts. Hi, hi, I like ketchup. I think it is delicious on hot dogs. Hi, that's just gross. Ketchup doesn't belong on hot dogs. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You're a fool. You are foolier. Boom, opinion made. Who cares? Now the hot dogs are cold, okay? Here's, here's another way, okay? Hi, hi. I like ketchup on my delicious hot dog. Hi, hi. I don't really enjoy the color or the texture of the ketchup sauce. I prefer the Dijonese sauce. And and I also prefer the tofu sticks. Have you tried that? Oh, I I never heard of the Dijonese. Maybe I could try to mix them together. What's a tofu stick? See? Conversation. The sharing of ideas and the listenings and the asking questions and inventing new condiments. So what, what's really super fun about the opinions is when they mingle together and bump onto each other, you can learn and evolve. But but the catch is it only happens because you listened louder than you spoke. The loudest opinion doesn't doesn't win. The best the best way to change an opinion of somebody isn't with volume or the angry face emoji, okay? It's it's maybe with some verifiable facts. It used to be that you could just use plain old facts, but these days the so-called facts are very sketchy. So so you need to do some verifying. Anyways, so my opinion on all of the opinion stuff is that it, it can be really hard and you have to be thoughtful. Okay, that's, that's all I was really trying to say. Okay, just talk to each other and share some opinions. May, maybe offer a snack and you could, you could have your own conclusions. Okay, all right, everybody have a really good, good, good weekend.